Hi everyone. Um, here I am in my studio and I'm embarrassed to say this is the second time I've recorded this because I tried to make it as a live video and um, I don't know. I've never done a live before and it didn't come out. So I have to do this over and I'm just recording it ahead of time. Anyway, I wanted to share with you, show you my newest order going out the door soon. Um, I hope I can turn my video around. I don't see a button for turning it around. I'm going to have to stop and switch the direction of the okay, camera. Okay, so here is my little order that was so much fun to work on. I got this came in at the start of May. It took me a few weeks, oh, about three weeks to put it all together. I have a few other things I needed to get done before I could focus on it. And it's just so much fun seeing all these um, in one place and going off to new, a new home. Thought I would show them to you. So here I've got some, these are my rainbow hoops done on, oops, they're stuck together. They are done on copper with little four millimeter stones. And I like to use like a modern rainbow colors, not um, traditional rainbow colors. So I use a pink for the red and a bright green. Okay. And then uh, here's a one more pair of rainbows. This is my sunshine series. And these have little gemstones done on a copper hoop with crystals at the bottom. And I think I might've put some little white topaz in there too. And here are, these are my Sakura Spring, simple Sakura Spring hoop dangles. I think that's what they were called with like some amethyst and um, pink opal. And, little sakura on silver and here's another part of the sunshine series sunshine hoops in orange with some carnelian and uh, orange topaz I believe that was made with wasn't that pretty so I don't know if topaz comes in orange naturally or it's been colored topaz often gets colored that's how you get like um, pink topaz and blue topaz the imperial topaz which is the like really expensive kind of ugly yellow one it's like as expensive as diamonds almost and um that's natural okay and here are my crescent hoops crescent moonstone hoops with little two millimeter moonstones woven in and those are fun to make i broke a few of those little moon moonstones but that happens and i'm wondering what am i gonna do with all of my broken stones i have a whole bucket of them and these I call my galaxy hoops because I thought they looked like planets. But planet hoops kind of sounds, I don't know, meh. So I call them my galaxy hoops. And I've been making these for like seven years. And they get ordered every so often. And I love these are raw appetite stones. And the blue in that is just so pretty. And they don't have holes in them. So I have to make like this cage to hold them inside of. And this is maybe my style, you know, just natural and raw and earthy. Um, over here we have my autumn dangles. And these are made with silver and some green and orange and brown, like the colors of autumn and fall and the changing leaves going from green to brown. And I bet some red would look pretty in there. These are my um, spring dangles, another pair of spring dangles done in pinks and pastel green with um, some cherry quartz teardrops and this is actually glass and I rarely ever work in glass but um, once in a while I find some glass I really like and I'll use it and these are my kitty cat sweethearts earrings and I forgot to put the tops on them I need to do that next here we have my rain uh, not rainbow moonstone not even moonstone moss agate moss agate teardrop hoops and the teardrop hoops are quite popular I make up a batch of them so I have them on hand when the order comes in I add the stones because I can do them in almost any stone color or thing that people request and these are birthstone dangles these have garnets and aquamarine which is for January and March and um, on a rose gold. So these can be requested in any birthstone that you need. And uh, let's see, I think that's everything. Yeah, so how fun is that? And this will be getting wrapped up and dropped off in the mail tomorrow morning. 
Well, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.